Hello, everybody, and welcome. And welcome to another park tour video. This is one that I've been wanting to show you guys because I haven't seen too many parks made out of this scenario. It's really cool. It is called Where is it? Mega Park. It's what you get in the first roller coaster tycoon game when you complete all the scenarios in the game. It's really cool and it's a concept that I wish the other games did too. But this is what it looks like. It has no objective. You can't win it, you can't lose it, and it's just for fun. You are on a budget, but that, that's actually okay with me. I, I like having a budget, I'm a money guy. And so, let me show you what it looks like. Here you go. This is what I made out of this scenario. I really like it, personally. Uh, it's partially based on a park that I made in Wilco's Tycoon 1. I started to make in this scenario, but then I thought OpenRCD 2 has more stuff in it. Why don't I use that? Let me show you the Wilco's Tycoon 1 park very quickly. Here we What the hell? Oh, come on! Why did I name the slide? Welcome for stopping with us. Okay, I finally got rolled because Tekken 1 fix, so here we go. So this is the park right here that I was trying to get to. Uh, as you can see, looks pretty good. It has some rides here. Uh, I thought I'd make a huge uh, junior coaster right here, which is usually meant for Riders with a lower intensity preference, but I made it really, really big, so that's interesting. Although in the other part, it's slightly different. And right over here, since there's no objective, uh, uh, there's nothing to hurry up for. I thought I would decorate every single uh, space I could like here, and um, I think it looks great. But then I decided to convert it into uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, specifically Open RCT 2. Uh, and I decided to start from the beginning, but I didn't transfer this file over just because, uh, well, there are a couple of rides I thought I would improve upon, so let's take a look at that. So here's the new park, or well, the remastering of the park, you say. I'll up the volume a bit. The first game is a lot louder, I've noticed. The resolution seems to be a, a bit different, but that's okay. So. I actually took screenshots of some parts of the park and made them exact here, but also there are a couple of things I want to change just because Well Ghost Tech 1 requires longer stations because there are no block zones in the game. For those of you who are unfamiliar, a block zone is a section of ride that only one train may occupy. At the end of a block zone is a method to stop a train in case the block zone ahead is to occupy. This is the safety system that prevents Will Ghost Chase from playing with one another. And you might remember that the stamina coaster that was over here had a very long station. But instead I put a Vacoma boomerang here. But let's go roughly in one direction out in the park. So this is the main entrance right here. I think it looks very nice. There's a car right. The best angle to view it from is right here. And some of the flat rides, well, basically all the flat rides, just say Mare Ground 1, Bumper Cars 1, Ferris Wheel 1. And it's not because it's being lazy, but that's just the default name you get by placing rides in the game. So I just leave it like that. It's part of the experience. And since all my parks are made in Open RCT 2, uh, uh, it might look the same as all of them, but maybe I should have made this in Planet Coaster instead, so that way it's like in a realistic format, but you see stuff from Rollercoaster Coaster Tycoon inside. So that's funny. Uh, it's called Launch Freefall 1, and there's a monorail going around the park with this one well, of the stations over here. This is the first coaster in the park. It was made back when I had a lower budget for the park. Now, though, I'm basically okay. Originally, I couldn't get more than like 2,000 guests because when they ran out of money, they left. But uh, I used 
a couple of cheats. This is illegal, you know. Just quality of life cheats. I didn't like artificially give myself money, but I add ATMs and first aid rooms just because I want to make this the best roller coaster tycoon park possible. And it makes sense that a park would have those two, right? They weren't in the original scenario, but I feel like if this scenario were to be made in 2002 instead of 1999, it would include these two. I also add catwalks to this roller coaster right here, just just because that's how it would be, of course. So I add those after I filled up the park with rides. I did that first, that was my objective. Fill up almost every space you can. Where is this park located? Well, Chris Sword, the developer of this game, lives in Scotland, in the Night Kingdom. But I didn't want to put it in Scotland just because it's not that populate of an area and it has lots of natural beauty. Uh, I, I didn't want to put it there uh, because I was wondering if you get the population numbers enough to keep it sustained. So I decided it would be closer to the Midlands of Great Britain. And so I decided Blubber Houses, UK. I believe it's in Yorkshire. Uh, Blubber Houses, such a funny name. And so that's where this park is located, if it were real, of course. And all the coasters are named after either pre-built designs they can get right here, or rides that exist within the scenarios of the game. For example, this is a custom-made uh, mini steel coaster called Crazy Caterpillar. I thought about uh, making this one right here, but first of all, I don't think of space for it. Actually, the lift hill is almost exactly the same as well as this bend right here. But I just thought it'd be more creative if I just made my own design. And I think it looks very pretty for being the first coaster in the park. And next to it is a Vokoma boomerang called Defibrillator. It doesn't seem very uh, unique, uh, of course. It's just a ride that you can easily place, but it fits in this plot of land. I was on a budget at the time and the guest seemed to like it. And of course it's iconic. It's called Deflip there because in the scenario called Funtopia, see, it's right here. Although I made some modifications for it, like instead of making the loop go right, I made the loop go left and I added space for a uh, on-ride photo section. So the roller coasters aren't called like, for example, Corkscrew Roller Coaster 1, just because then you wouldn't know what you're referring to. But this log right here is called Splash Mine, named after this design, which the scenery is unavailable because it's from Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But that's a very iconic ride, so I thought I'd add here. I also consider Logger's Revenge, which is from the first game, but decided to go with Splash Mine because of the mine equipment and oh oh it broke over here there are many exciting things I like the work I did with the wall here and there's river rapids within this pit and one of the first big coasters you see when entering the park it's a dive coaster and back when the game was first released the only example of a dive coaster was Oblivion at Alton Towers and a clone of Oblivion. I decided to use the tools in OpenRCD2 to make more elements in it. Okay, here it comes. Uh, and so I used the twister track and used the uh, uh, enable absurd ride type changes, cheat something like that, so I can do some other moves with it, like the Virgo is a good open RC2, but also the Immelman and Zero G roll. It's called uh, Zygerator because in Canary Mines, I believe, there is a double uh, coaster, each track called Zygerator 1 and Zygerator 2. This is only one, of course, but uh, that's what it's called. And this is one of my favorite aero suspended coasters I've made. It's called Flight of the Phoenix, named after this one. I should have made the track orange because that's what a phoenix would be like. Well, actually, the trains are orange and the uh, track could be the sky, so that works. It works a little bit like Ninja at Six Flags Magic Mountain because there's a lift out of the station and you then go down the hill and then there's a lift hill to get you back up to the station. Very interesting. I really like this River Rapids ride again. It, it always seems to be stuck right here. And you might remember there was a smaller... 
Aero Corkscrew Coaster over here, and you may or may not have seen a bigger one, like a Aero Mega Looper over here, but I decided to make the Aero Mega Looper here in the desert section part of the park, and also the Scenario Mega World Park does that too. Huh, seems to be a thing. This one seems uh, strangely similar to Viper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Huh, two Magic Mountain Spark Coasts right next to each other. The plot thickens. Uh, I don't know why. I'm not trying to be a copycat. I mean, this part here is a little bit different, but that's just how the Mega Looper uh, worked. The three built didn't have too many elements other than inversions, and seems to be compact-ish, uh, so that's nice. It's called Octivator, named after this design, which I don't think I ever built, but it exists. And behind it is Mutant Mouse. This is the newest park uh, this is the newest ride in the park, uh, and it's very compact. It's like Raging Cajun at Six Flags America, uh, and I had lots of block brakes here just because there are lots of cars here, and I want them to be able to operate as efficiently as possible. It's a rather short ride, but it works well for the space here. I'm running low on space in this park, and right here is Force 9, named after the pre-built design for Verse Feet Fall Coaster right here, but there's two of them just because why not build two when it doesn't take too much space here. That's what it look like. looks like inside the building. It's made of sandstone. And first you go underneath the park until just before the river. There's a little bridge here and a pedestrian bridge. It's covered just so you don't throw items onto the ground. And then big spike. Oh, oh. It falls 318 feet, making it the tallest coaster in the Night Kingdom. So there are two ways we can go here. We'll go this way. This took a while right here. It's the steeplechase. Uh, three steeplechase roller coasters. Let's see through vegetation here so you can see the track. Usually I don't do more than two parallel tracks. But since I had the budget for it, I thought... Uh, I would do three here, and you can race horses with your friends. Look at him go! Woo! It has very, very low capacity, and second one has broke. Motherfucker! It has multiple lift hills, just because it, I wanted to use this hill right here, and go up this hill right here. Yeah, it doesn't work perfectly, but for what it is, it's a pretty good roller coaster. I sure like it. I don't get the opportunity to build huge steeplechase coasters. So, uh, it, it was fun for what it is. Look at that. And there's a top spin right here. This is kind of like the deep force part of the park. And of course, there's a dingy side just called Dingy Slide 1. Very nice. And a monorail station. Now we're at the lake. I heard that it's based on Leafy Lake. Like when you look at it this way, it kind of looks like Leafy Lake. There are a couple of clues of scenarios in here. Like, this could look like... Uh, Dynamite Dunes, this looks like Millennium Mines. There are lots of little hints of scenarios here. There's a wild mouse coaster called Cheesy Mice, which is a pre-built design that uh, I liked. Uh, I could have built an original, but I was, I was feeling lazy, so I built a pre-built one. Uh, it could, if it was real, it could re be really cool to have a coaster match a pre-built one. Oh wait, that already exists. It's called uh, the Schwarzkopf Show Loop, I guess. And uh, this one, I, I guess. Dangling Coaster 1. It's a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling. Dang it's a dangling coaster. Dang dangling coaster. It's a dangling coaster. Dang it's a dangling coaster. Dangling coaster. Dang it's a dangling coaster. Dang with your legs dangling. Dangling coaster. It wasn't my intention to make a Vacoma SLC at first, but I believe Derek gave me that idea. So, but here, there are actually at least two dangling coasters at the park. So, I will show you the other one very soon. And then there's the lake, four different types of boats. They don't make much money, but uh, that's fine. I'm still happy to have them here. Canoes, uh, ducks, water tricycles, and rowboats. This is Shuttle Loop. It has the name of the design for the first game, but I added a back spike. Oh, oh, that would add more excitement to the ride. And if the station brakes were to ever fail, well, that can be an outlet for speed. Great. The closest one of these to my house 
is Montezuma's Revenge and Knott's Berry Farm. There's a chairlift right here and space rings. Oh, and it just broke. Motherfucker! The space rings uh, are my least favorite flower in the game, but I wanted to have everything at this park, so there we go. And the, there's a railroad station right here. And this uh, is a very cool GCI coaster. This is in the first game and the second game. It's called Shimmy in the second, but I uh, grew up knowing it as Mischief, but I used uh, the tools in OpenRCT2 to get the Millennium Fire Trains and be able to bank the curved uh, slopes right here so it looks like an actual GCI. That's very fascinating and I built a pretty cool stage for it and made new bricks for it. And then here's a bobsled coaster, one of the newer ones in the park called Ignition, named after this design right here. And of course there's a spike for Force 9 again. Oh, one of those missing! Oh, oh! And right here uh, are the go-karts which I called Go-Karts 1. This is a classic wooden coaster. There are, uh, oh, just two wooden coasters at the park for now. Okay. And it broke. Oops, <laughs> it broke. Sorry. So it's an out and back wooden coaster. It's supposed to look old. It's called Big Dipper, not because I was being lazy with the name, but because it's in the scenario Bumbly Beach. So I want to match the feel of that coaster here. Of course, it's original layout but I wanted to match the feel of it. There isn't much flat land in this park, so I had to make a coaster that goes with the train, and that's exactly what I did here. I really like the shed for the break run. What's in the shed? And the station for it looks pretty good too. Uh, every detail, this park looks good. It was almost a passion project, you can say. I forgot to talk about this earlier. This is Dynamite Blaster, named after the roller coaster you see when you start a game of Dynamite Dunes. You go down here and you go up the lift hill and there's a nice catwalk there as well. And you go around the roller coaster. Uh, I'm, I forgot which one I built first here, uh, the mine train or Zygrader, but I guess logically it seems like the Aero mine train would be built before a B&M dive coaster. I'm trying to find hints about which one was first. Maybe I built the mine train after the dive coaster uh, in real life, but you know what I mean, dang it. And there's one very nice coaster right here, a looping coaster, I use a roller coaster tech one, chains here called Storm, named after the roller coaster. It's a mine train, not a looping coaster though, but I didn't think of a better name, uh, which is based on the now defunct, what was it called? The Ultimate at Lightwater Valley. The scenario Katie's World is based on what uh, Lightwater Valley looked like back when the game was released. And so I thought I'd use the storm uh, for this ride. And you go through the woods and it's a very good first looping coaster right here and has a very nice helix. This haunted house never makes any money. I make it like 10 cents and no one ever lines up for it. So I made it free. <laughs> Another monorail station here. This one. And this one kind of act as like the one for the main entrance, I guess. I couldn't think of anywhere else to put it, so there we go. Here's the uh, B&M Invert Coaster Flight Mare. It's a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling. Dangle. It's a dangling coaster. Dangle. It's a dangling coaster. Dangle. It's a dangling coaster. Dangle. It's a dangling coaster Dangle. with your legs dangling. It's in the scenario called Mel's World, and I made it uh, Bordeaux Red and black supports like the coaster in Mel's World and I made of some very cool elements there's lots of versions five of them I see very nice and it's kind of hidden from the rest of the park so it gives you a you're on your own kind of feel and there's a Togo stand-up coaster called Grapevine named after the stand-up coaster uh, in Funtopia that's a stand-up twister coaster, whereas this is the regular stand-up coaster. But in this uh, scenario, there is no uh, stand-up twister coaster. I just went with this one, uh, and I know that I added the wooden twister coaster, as it's called in 
the second game. But that's just a variation of a uh, existing coaster. If I got a brand new type of roller coaster for this park, it just didn't seem quite right. So I just used a Togo stand-up coaster, and it's paint purple, a color that I don't use often for coasters. For what it is, it's pretty good. And another monorail station. Uh, oh, and there's a train ride going just around the lake. There's a station here and a station there. Uh, forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, and let's see if I forgot anything. I don't think I have forgotten any of the roller coasters. I had trouble finding a name for the park here. At first, I decided Roller Coaster Tycoon World. Wait, that's already taken. Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures? No, that doesn't work either. Oh, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Universe? Uh, that seems like another crappy game in the franchise that Atari would make just to make money off it. Roller Coaster Tycoon Land. Yeah, I, I guess that works. That's the best I can think of. Roller Coaster Tycoon Land. That's not so... Oh, bad. It's a land filled with rides from Rollercoast Tycoon. And in real life, the architecture would be exactly like how you see in this game, as well as food stalls. Like, uh, imagine if every part of society did this. Like, a popcorn stall looked like a big bucket of popcorn, and ATMs had money sign, and a fry stall had a dancing fry on top of the hut. Every single business should do that. The YouTuber told that 25 once said, uh, that uh, McDonald's should look like a giant burger. That would be so wonderful. I, I love this game. I, I always did and I always will. So it made sense that the Mega Park would be themed to the game itself. Someone should really build a park themed to Roller Coaster Tycoon. That would be pretty cool. Thank you for watching.